welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my JetBlue Mint experience from Seattle to JFK. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now as you can see, JetBlue Mint here has 16 seats in the 212 configuration and they're fully live flat. One thing I really love about JetBlue Mint is that it's so competitive in price and actually less expensive than a lot of other rival domestic first class carriers like Alaska and Delta. I paid about $450 each way on this flight and it was awesome. Here you can see you get fully live flat bed seats, you even get meals on red eye flights as well. They have a 2 on 2 2 person is really great for couples um, or if you're traveling with a friend. The one configuration, although not more expensive, gives you a really awesome single experience which I'm going to show you later as well on my return trip back from JFK. So sit back, take a look at this, I hope I explained this awesome experience. If you have a chance right now, they're expanding their Mint Experience Network. Check out the website, it has the roots, and if you have a chance, fly JetBlue Mint because you will absolutely love it. So when you get to your seat here, every seat comes with a welcome card from your flight attendants, a amenity kit which is awesome, it has the most comfortable socks ever, as well as an eye mask, toothbrush, and facial spray. You also come with a really nice duvet and really thick pillow which is great for red eye flights or even just hanging out on board. You, they have a signature JetBlue mint drink with that vodka. It is absolutely amazing. And one awesome thing is that every flight, no matter what, even if it's a red eye flight, you get a menu. And this menu here talks about the in-flight meal service as well as the wines and beverages on board. One unique thing about JetBlue mint is that they just do it in a choice of three out of five options and they give you mini plates rather than one large plate. Here is a picture kind of of the duvet and me being comfortable on the red eye five hour flight from Seattle to JFK. I'm about 5'11", and as you can see here too, there's a lot of leg room. This fits about a 6'5 person, and there's so much room to relax on board, which is great. Here you can also tell that we have a great big TV screen which uses direct TV. And here we will also be able to show you around the single capsule cabin. And you can see it has a ton of space for your shoes, leg room, there's lots and lots of storage built in. And this one has an extra side panel, which is a solo panel that I had. There's three power outlets and so much more that this seat has to offer. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Please 
very careful when opening overhead bins as items tend to move during flight. If you have a receipt that says claim at gate, you may pick up your items outside the front boarding door. If you require special assistance such as a wheelchair, you can remain comfortably seated after we've arrived at the gate so that we may better assist you. For information on connecting flights or baggage claim, you may check airport monitors or download our free JetBlue mobile app. Be sure to visit JetBlue.com to learn more about our True Blue loyalty program, where you can have points on all of your flights starting with today's flight. On behalf of all of us here at JetBlue, especially your New York City-based in-flight crew, we do thank you for flying with us today. For those of you from the New York City area, we'd like to be the very first to say good morning and welcome home. So thanks for watching this brief uh, trip on JetBlue's Mint. Some things that I really love about JetBlue Mint is their meals, great price, and the seats. A couple cons that I'm not a huge fan of that they're still working on with JetBlue, I think, is the seats are not as comfortable as some others, um, but they are still comfortable. Uh, their in-flight service, they don't use real uh, napkins and things like that, which if you're looking for the more elegancy, you're not getting that there. Other than that, you really can't, it's extremely competitive, if not above the others. Uh, one awesome thing with Red Eye Service is that they give you actually to-go bag, which has a cookie, a warm, either cinnamon roll or something like that in it. Uh, power juice as well as a take-home gift as you're leaving for your day to get your day started since you took a Red Eye. The meal service is super phenomenal. They actually do it in courses rather than just on one tray and they really go above and beyond providing snacks throughout the flight and just little touches that you usually get on international service but you're actually getting on domestic first class. So that's my trip report though on JetBlue's Mint experience. I absolutely love flying JetBlue Mint when I go uh, to the East Coast and I'm really excited for them to start expanding more to some more flight options. Uh, right now they fly Seattle, LA, San Diego, San Francisco to the JFK, Fort Lauderdale and Boston area. Other than that, they are flying to the Caribbean, things like that. But check their website. Like I said, you can see a route map of their Mint experience and also get some more information about what Mint is and what the services on board are, as well as check out that menu before you get on that flight. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment below if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!